So, let's, on October the 25th, I look forward again to serving Malton for the next four years. Thank you. Thank you, candidates. And uh, this wraps up the formal portion of our evening. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you were there. Okay. Okay. I'm not good at speaking. I speak through my fingers typing. Hi, I'm unique among the people here because I am not running. I'm simply registered. I registered as part of my research into municipal governments and the city of Mississauga in particular. Since January 2007, I've spent over $2,000 on freedom of information to investigate Mississauga. The McMurtry Curling Report on the Roots of Youth Violence states, quote, Community if she's not running, why, why is she allowed to speak? Let her speak. I'm sorry. Let her speak. Unfortunately. All right, then I'm running. No, you'll have a chance to talk to people. I want to hear running. I want to hear what she's going to say. Okay. Oh, no, I, I, I don't doubt that, ladies and gentlemen. But unfortunately, as I said earlier, during the councillor's debate, we have a, a format we have to follow, and it's not fair to the candidates to do so. And when they're not expecting that. If you wish to talk to her, she's welcome to chat with you. Okay, out I changed my mind. I'm running. Is that she, she is a candidate. She she is a candidate. She, well, I'm sorry. I, I, I was being aware she was. I'm very sorry. My name is Ursula Cooper-Bennett, and I... Okay, we'll put it back on. We'll put it back on. I didn't know you were a candidate. I was just... Uh, I was a candidate. Oh, that's okay. Sorry about that. You can put it back on. Okay. Sorry about that. Carry on. All right, maybe I am running for mayor. Okay, if that's what it takes to be up here. Anyway, the McMurtry Curling Report on the Roots of Youth Violence states, community centers and programs run by mainstream social service providers that have facilities are not youth friendly or accessible to youth, particularly black youth. Not youth friendly, that's what I saw too. I have a moral obligation to tell you something. In 2008, I attended four Mississauga Youth Plan meetings, one of which was held across the street at Malton Community Center on March 3rd, 2008. I witnessed a City of Mississauga security guard deny a half dozen black youth entrance into that meeting. A couple of the kids peered through the window to friends inside and gestured that the guard wasn't letting them in. I have a photograph to prove that. At this meeting, youth were asked to write up a wish list. Of the four youth meetings I attended throughout the city, Malton kids were the only ones to write, don't kick us out, as a wish. However, you won't see, don't kick us out, uh, recorded in the city's official version of the Mississauga Youth Plan. Here are uh, city security's records for Malton Community Center from January 1st, 2006 until September 26th, 2008. During that time, city security guards issued 200 bans and arrests. By contrast, the combined stats of Cothra, Meadowvale, Clarkson, and River Grove show only, two, uh, show only, show only 22 bans, representing more than twice the foot traffic of Malton Community Center, and no arrests. Now, people might respond with, well, you know, this is Malton, isn't 200 what you would expect? So I investigated the city's bans for the nearby Westwood Mall transit terminal during the same period. No bans, no arrests, zero. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure there are more people go through uh, that transit terminal in a day than Malton Community Center. From what I can figure, of the 200 Malton uh, Center bans and arrests, 48, or another roughly half, of, of the, these bans and arrests are youth and minors. Contrary to its own guidelines, the city does not inform parents when a child is banned. Over the entire city, there are hundreds of parents and guardians with no clue that of the city's bans to their kids. That's deadly because if a kid returns to property before a ban's expiry, he is arrested. Freedom of Information retrieved this direct quote from the Director of Corporate Security about arrest policy. Quote, no exceptions, let them tell it to the judge. And that's still not the worst part. It's what staff and security guards write about you or your kid into their computer system that you have to worry about. The vast majority of people written into city security occurrence narratives simply cannot imagine what's written about them. 
And that computer database with stuff written about your kid rides in the front seat console of every one of the city security's response units. Uh, for example, how would you like to be the parent of this kid? This black? I don't know what it says. Or this one? If your kid goes or has gone to Malton Community Center, I urge you to file freedom of information on any records that the city of Mississauga might have on your youngster. If nothing comes up, great. If it does, do not try to fix things by dealing directly with city security. They are highly accomplished liars, and I have proof of this. Besides, you can't remove what these security guards wrote about your kid, but you can enter into the records your youngster's side of the story. Go to Mississauga Watch. I will help. Thanks for listening. All right, Abe. Leave that is the uh, last of the evening, so uh, we are going to go to the formalities uh, this evening. The candidates are still...